Hey guys, Tim Ferriss. Going to show just a few moves that are surprisingly easy to do, but very impressive looking in the world of acro yoga. And I'm no expert. Experts are people like Kiplin here, at Kiplin, K-I-P-L-I-N-N -N, on all the socials. Jason Niemer, uh, Jenny, of course, those are the co-founders of acro yoga, and many others are the pros. But that's why I'm showing you this, because these do not require you to be a pro. All right, so the first is going to be a walkover to throne. So this is something that people have a lot of trepidation about, getting into a handstand. Uh, so Kipling can feel free to add some color as needed, but I'm gonna show you what is actually an entrance into a routine of any type that is, is surprisingly easy to do. So we'll show it, and then uh, I can sort of add some thoughts. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that I'm not like this, getting ready for it, because it looks terrible, all right? And uh, you learn these things over time. All I'm going to do is sort of be sitting like this, and then my legs are going to straddle pike up to here. All right? That's what it's going to look like. And we'll, we'll show what it looks like. Boom. All right. And then we're in throw, and then we can do fun stuff like pop the bird. OK. Okay, now that's not the part we're going to cover. We're just going to cover the walkover. So let's come down. All right, so with the walkover, what I want to point out is that I'm actually aiming to land right about here. Right? If you go right for the glute, when she actually sits, your foot's going to slip. So you're kind of aiming right here in terms of the male, or not necessarily male, but base portion of it. Um, Kiplin, any thoughts on the actual handstand? Any pointers there? Hands close to the hip. The closer you are, the better. Okay. And slow you are. Clean. So the flyer should have their hands close to my hips. You don't want to be too far out, obviously. Better to be a little too close than too far away. And uh, in general, a lot of folks, when they're thinking of handstands, there are different ways to do it. Start with shoulder width, and you can either have your middle fingers pointing forward or index fingers pointing forward. You can play with what works for you. Uh, and getting a little bit of extension can help quite a bit with slowing things down. It's actually kind of a fun drill. You can do handstands against the wall, start off, kick up, and then really push, push to get that extension and break. It'll slow you down. So let's show it one more time, and then we will do a few more. Okay, so you see them right here. Now what I'm gonna do is hook on top of the feet. She's gonna dorsiflex, pull her toes back, and then just sit right up, boom. Now from here, since this looks kinda of weird, you, can, <laughs> you put the feet right on the shins. And that allows you to do all sorts of things. You can actually rest pretty easily from here. And then at a later point in time, you can do something like this, which is just the one, two. Catch into bird. You notice when I catch, my feet are pointed out. There are many different ways to do this. I find that to be the least violent against my flyer. <laughs> Lots of bend, and then kind of popping up and then placing the feet back to parallel. Almost like an Olympic weightlifter coming up from a clean and like popping it up to get their hands into proper position. Very similar. And I would suggest staying away from the pop to bird for now, but if you're at a level where that makes sense, placing a lot of weight on the hands uh, and allows the flyer, if they have good body awareness, to kind of break themselves on the way down so it's not just an uncontrolled free fall. Okay. And that is the walkover to Throne to Bird. Thanks for watching, everybody. I would love to share more videos with you. If you would like to see them, please subscribe right here, and I will get to making more for you.